This is Bengaluru against Chennaiyan, part four. Three previous meetings. And uh, as Bengaluru settled to life in ISL, this is only their second season, remember? Let's football! Rolls off the tongue nowadays, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, but let's not forget one thing you just mentioned there about pre-season. John, pre-season's pre-season. And as uh, one five international caps, it is Bengaluru taking the game to the opposition. All depends where it drops here, yeah, will be shot! Actually, that hit the goalkeeper. And there might still be another shot coming in. And even now, here we go. Oh, it's a, a dribbler around the ground, but uh, Karan Jit had to be alert. He actually, his body stopped the ball. I'm not sure he knew a lot about it. Let's have a look at it. It was big Eric, wasn't it? He just pops to Eric Partaloo. The little snapshot. Chest is going around in circles. Manages to stab it back. That was a lusty challenge. I think he's come off worst as well. This could be an awkward bounce. The play carried from one end of the field to the other with one big boot of the ball. Nicely defended by Eli Sabia, but there is Rafael Augusto, as you can see. It, I call it a lusty challenge. Meat is another word for it. It was uh, no holes barred there, was that? One ant doesn't take prisoners. Does catch him. Should have been a free kick, really. Rafael got to the ball first there, moved it. Strikes me there are some physically big fellas out there today. I mean, Rafael Augusto's not a midget, is he exactly? No, he's another big lad. Quality, quality player, though, if he's given time and space on the ball. Awkward ball to take, and he's going to forfeit the possession. Opportunity for Chennai to break here. There are four, five going forward. It is Gregory Nelson, lovely ball in, big chance. Chennai must surely be if he can get there. Pulls it back inside, and that's a what a big opening. JJ can't take it. Oh, my goodness me, German Prix couldn't take it either. I think that... I don't think... I don't believe what I've just seen. I think that JJ's tried to put that on a plate for German Prix. Let's have a good look here. It, the, the challenge should have gone in from Cabra. He should have just made sure that it was either a free kick or anything was going to happen. Brilliant run from JJ. Times it to absolute perfection. And he's tried to play Jim Ampreet in then. JJ is clinical inside the box. Normally, we'd expect to see him slot that home. Not the best delivery, but still he might win it back. They're getting squeezed back here. Oh, what a back, back pass. Terrible. Oh, and he's going to run it out. Oh, dear, dear, dear. The two best chances, obviously, in this game have fallen <laughs> to John Gregory's Chennai, and, and that's what he's thinking at the moment. That's oh, a, what on earth was this back pass about? It's poor, isn't it, from Raul Becke? I mean, he's even had a glance. JJ just couldn't sort his feet out quickly enough, and then it's bing-bong, bing-bong, all in between his legs <laughs> and out of play. But if he could just have had that one good first touch initially, he slots it home. My feeling was he got overexcited here. What are those good? Why have I got the ball? They look deep. They're very, very deep. Right on the edge of the six-yard box. All about the delivery, which is useful. It missed everybody out, but the goalkeeper was alert, and Gurpreet Singh manages to get pushed to ball. <laughs> Two personal little scraps going on. The ball is through. This is the chance. It's goal! Guess who got it? Miku's the man, yet again. 16th goal in ISL. It's not taken him long to register his first of ISL five. And it was almost half a chance, but suddenly the ball is at the twinkling feet and just pulls the trigger. And how about that? Bang! It's already gone past the keeper. Absolutely nothing he could do in goal. But Miku, against the run of play, I would say, has given Bengaluru the lead. It was the timing of the run as well, because Melton Alves was virtually alongside him. He could so easily have been offside. He just held for that precise second that enabled him to get in. And uh, you can see Chester is having to go back there to help his, uh, his defence out. A bit of pushing and shoving involving the Spaniard Saran. There he is, right in the middle of the picture. Oh, <laughs> and down goes Melton Alves. Back up again. Well, somebody will kick a ball in there soon. And here we go. It's not a bad delivery. And there's not really much the keeper can do about it. It's still in there. And there's a back here. That would have been 
shoot. But it turns out it does not beat the goalkeeper, Gurpreet Singh. And it's a beer, it was. It was up there, Gurpreet fists it away. Calderon just helps it back into the mix. Gregory Nelson will take that. And the issue was pattern there because he just got hold of Gregory Nelson. He'd done enough to turn and twist to deliver that ball into the box. But another chance, another set play now for Chennai. Yeah, we've talked about the value of set plays. Put the pressure on the goalkeeper. We saw that yesterday. And uh, he's going to get this one, is he? Well, he is. And he'll come back his way. Here's a one on one. Can he get ball here? This could be a red. The referee is going to reach here, and it could indeed be a red card. He was uh, about to go goal side, and uh, as always, there is a bit of mayhem, and it is a yellow card. Well, it's a contentious decision against Jerry, I think. It was, I think, because the ball was going away from goal, that's why it's been shown as a yellow. But we said about Adanta's pace, he gets there, gets the ball first, totally wiped out. But if you look at the angle of that ball, it's going away from the goal. I think also what might have saved him was, although it was in that half of the field, he's a good 40 odd yards out. Yeah, with the angle as well. Not a clear cut goal scoring opportunity. I think that's the, well, that would be the, the referee's turn. We've been talking about the value of set pieces. What can Cisco conjure up? Move over there, he says. There are plenty of blue shirts in, plenty of white shirts to take care of it. For the moment, it might get back to Cisco. Yeah, goal kick. Bit of a letdown after all that. Mousen coming up big there. Gonna do. Oh, that's neat, and that's neat as well. He's outside here. They're looking for the second to switch it all off. Well, it was Cisco to hold on. If you're chasing it, we've only got 23 minutes to get one back. Trainer roaring here. It is uh, the ball they're looking for. Will turn. Can he get the shot through? Four white shirts back. The opportunity still here for Bengalaro. Is this? Oh, it's a good challenge. It's a corner kick. Really needed to do that, didn't he? Elias Savia concedes a corner. Better than conceding a goal. Mm. He could just get the ball stuck under his feet slightly there. Lovely little flick on there from Sunil. And then that pass just didn't have the pace on it that Miku wanted to move on to it and strike it first time, which is why it checked back. Nice little cut and pass there, though, from Adanta. They needed role reversal there. It's a shame Sunil wasn't the one who was racing onto it. A pass from Cisco, probably. This is a new season and new statistics occur. And the only one occurring here is Bengaluru 1, Chennai 0. And Bengaluru looking for the second, Chetri! Still Chetri! And uh, not anymore, Chetri. Another big moment in the match from Jerry. Oh, nearly floated in. I'm not quite sure about Gurpreet Singh there. Whether, well, he's taken his eye off the ball at the last minute, or whether somebody's put him off, but it could have floated all the way in. Listen, if you bend that ball into that far post area, he'd think that he was fouled. Around one or two countries and has plied a few free kicks in his time. Ten minutes left. Big chance for Chennai. And uh, it will be Calderon. Too high. High, wide, not so handsome, I'm afraid. Well, they're probing here. There is an opportunity still for Francis. Uh, not enough quality on the ball, not enough quality on the clearance either. So he's magnetising it, isn't he, Raphael? And, uh, well, they have a real chance here of an equaliser, and it's the right foot, and the keeper has made the save, the best save of the day, probably, from Gurpreet Singh. It was a big chance. The right foot dispatched the shot. Great strike, going goal back. He's flattered it a little bit, rather than taking it cleanly or fisting it away, as we've seen earlier. This fairy story continues. It's three points for Bengaluru. They have beaten Chennai and their own enemies by a goal to nil. It's a reversal of the result from the ISL 4 final. Sonil Chetri, Miku and Co have taken three points. And no matter what they say, they've taken revenge from Chennai. The handshakes between the two coaches and uh, 